everyone, welcome to day six of the 12 Cards of Christmas. So we're halfway already. Today we're going to be using up the bits we had left over actually from day five. If like me, you had more pieces than you needed, we're going to use those up now. So if you didn't have any leftover pieces or you haven't done the card that we did before, have a look back at the last card I did to see how I watercolored all of these. And what I'm going to do today is use up the pieces that were left over and I'm going to combine them with this set. For, this is another Tim Holtz set called Bold Text. This is the Christmas one. And I thought a big, bold sentiment with just the few little bits I've got left over from yesterday would make a really nice card design. So before I do my die cutting, what I'm doing is I've got a nice bright pink piece of cardstock that I'm going to add in the background because with this bold text you kind of see through it so I thought I'm going to cut that the card front's going to be craft card and then when I die cut this we'll be able to see through that lovely it's kind of a, a nice pinky red really now with these die cuts you get that kind of paper cut out look you can, if you want to, go back in and paper piece in, for example, the centre of the P, or you can leave it with that complete sort of cut out look. Really up to you. Um, obviously, it's more fiddly to put the pieces back in, but I, I kind of prefer that look. So, um, but obviously, totally up to you which you prefer. So I'm just going to pop this over the top and then we'll have that nice pinky red peeking through and here's where I decided I do want to put the pieces back in <laughs> so a little bit fiddly but depending on which sentiment you've used there are you know some of them have hardly got any pieces to put back in this one isn't too bad actually um, the pieces in the center of the A's though are tiny so those are a little bit fiddly but obviously the P and the O are, are, are nice and large so fairly fairly simple to do. You definitely want a pick up tool though for the A's because they are little pieces. So now I can rearrange the leftover bits I've got. So I'm going to start off with the poinsettia. That will be the focal point and then probably the next largest element I've got is this orange slice. So I'm going to tuck that in underneath and then I've just got a few little bits of foliage left so I can just fit those in and it's a great way to just use up these leftover pieces I, I do keep a little pot where I put leftover pieces but I'm terrible for then not using them anyway <laughs> I've got a pot where I've probably got some flowers in there that have been there about three years so um, I really need to just clear that out <laughs> so this is you could call it done here but i thought it would be quite nice since this is quite a simple card to add some splatters of gold so i've got my cure tacky um these are ganzai tan by watercolors and this is the gold set it's got a lovely selection of different golds and that just gives it a nice little bit of shimmer so i hope you've enjoyed this card today i will put um, details in the description box as always of all the products I've used in case you want to completely replicate this and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be back again in a couple of days with day seven thanks for watching and I'll see you soon